7th. I just got home uh, from a wonderful walk. I, um, I went to Candace's um, gallery and she mentioned it's a pop-up, the invitation that I got um, for Wish. It's actually the, I don't know how to pronounce her name, Rikito at the Orange Line Gallery. And um, and it's they're all cranes. So I got to meet her. I didn't I didn't see Candace there, but I got to meet the artist. And um, we chatted a bit and, and I just asked her what her inspiration came from and and then you know she's telling me her history and, and just she used to do a lot of tagging before and then kind of transitioned to doing this art and, and and then she had all these and then she's like take many I have many so I was like okay I'm gonna take a lot <laughs> so I took many and um, I'm planning on going back tomorrow actually because um, I was like oh these are cute postcards um these would be really cute postcards to send to friends and family and um and then I, I, so we were at Token and, and I, she made little ornaments of the crane and, and I wanted to support her, right? And, and so I said I wanted to get one of these and she didn't take card. She just accepted cash. I was like, I don't have any cash on me. So I was trying to look for a bank close by and I found a chase, but I didn't want to touch the chase because it's, the time frame of when I get paid, I get paid tomorrow actually. And so I didn't want to take the money out um, because it's actually for another bill. So I was like, oh snap, maybe I wasn't meant to buy it today. But I told her, I'm like, if not today, tomorrow. And I sent her a text, but she didn't respond back. I just wanted to let her know that I wanted to stop by tomorrow for the crane, for an ornament. So I bought two ornaments. <laughs> Try to get up without moving the oh no the camera so i bought two ornaments um I, I when i went to target yesterday they started having like all the christmas stuff coming out and for those of you that don't know that was like my favorite holiday the, just this time of the year is my favorite because it's cooler and i do better when it's cooler weather just because i sweat a lot <laughs> so um, I, I saw a little planet and I thought that was cute just because of the stars on the planet. And then I found a star, a sequin sea star that reminded me of the colors of my waves. So I just got those two. So then, and I was only going to do two because last year I bought one ornament and so then this year... I, so I was supposed to get a tree last year and I didn't and instead I did a post up like I pinned uh, a tree created a tree out of all my junk <laughs> all my postcards and pictures it was a, a flat tree so I never got to use my my one ornament which was a bird and um and has the year on it and, and so this year I'm determined to get my Charlie Brown Christmas tree. So I, I bought a couple of those two ornaments. So then when I saw the crane and the story behind the crane and that it symbolizes, you know, you, you create one and you make a wish for a loved one, usually around health. And, and that's where her inspiration came from. So I thought that was beautiful. I was like, oh, I want to support you. And I, I saw that she had ornaments. I was like, that would be cool to have on my ornament, on my tree. A wish, a crane. And so, um, but she didn't have a machine. So, I was like, okay. So I kept walking because it ended up being off of Mason. So I took um, Powell up because I was going to stop by Sephora to get the the makeup and, and it was 
I felt a little awkward in there because I don't usually go in there. Fancy. And um, so I bought eyeliner and and a felt, a, a, an ink, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm going to try it out. Um, I used to do like the eyeliner at the top. Um, so I was like, oh, let me try it out. Something new, right? Let me try something new. And so, um, so from there, I, I took Powell up the rest of the way and then turned and then got on Mason and um, to go to the gallery. And then from there, I ended up just walking to Fisherman's Wharf. Not Fisherman's Wharf, but Ghirardelli Square. And, and just sat there for a little bit, just thinking, well, what am I going to do? Because, <laughs> you know, I can't go back. I mean, I could, but I didn't want to because I, I don't know why. I figured I'll go tomorrow after I get paid so I can purchase it and take cash too to, to get money out and um so, in, so I text her and then I decided to keep walking so I actually ended up going around um the Presidio and it was that was actually the first walk that um Gary and I and and, and Pete and Candace took to Greens when we walked to Greens so and I hadn't been there since then so I, I decided to just kind of walk around it and it was just gorgeous and I went off on the little pier before I, I took that stroll because I hadn't done that and that was nice it was a beautiful view of the of the bridge it was a beautiful day today and then I just kept walking and then I was oh that's what I was, it did before I started walking I mapped out okay where a different route home really it was it was I wanted to go a different route home a way that I hadn't been so I decided to go around the the Presidio Fort Mason and then I saw like where Greens was and then there was a renegade craft fair and I was like why does that sound familiar I'm like oh it's a craft fair I remember Jewel or Hannah talking about it and you can see there's like a long line of people but it was just gorgeous. It was gorgeous the walk, and and um, and then I decided I was gonna turn on Fillmore. I was like, let me take a turn on Fillmore and see where it takes me. It was lovely. It was a lovely walk, and and definitely different feel, different vibe. It felt very like um, there was a feel of Claremont to it downtown Claremont kind of it had that little feel to it and and I just kept walking and, and I took it all the way down and then where it ended I made a left and then turned on church because I knew that one was going to take me to Dolores Park uh, lining the Castro district I think it's called and 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 then I went back up Dolores Park. So it was nice to just get a different feel for the city at a different time when the sun was going down. And it was just different. And then I, I thought about it too. I was like, oh, this is a really nice neighborhood, Fillmore. And I was just like, I think I'd like, if, then I was thinking, I'm like, if I, if I ever decide to settle down and this is the place where I'm supposed to settle down, that would be a nice place to settle down. But then I thought about it, I was just like, I mean, it's nice. But then once I got to Dolores Park and back to the Mission District, I was like, mm-hmm. Even though there was some murals in Fillmore, it wasn't the same feel. And I'm like, as I was walking, I went to go get, um, it was getting dark. I was like, oh, let me, let me go to the grocery store really quick because I crave meat. <laughs> I want my meat. So I, I I went to the grocery store and I, I got some meat and I put it in the fridge. But I got myself some meat, three different kinds. And um, and I thought about it. I'm like, oh, I don't, I don't know if I could part ways with the art here. <laughs> That's one of the reasons why I like it here so much. Just the art and, and just the view, really, being able to go up. It, I, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> I just really like it here. Um, 
But hopefully she responds back. Um, you know, to let me know that she'll be there tomorrow. And, um, but you know, it inspired me because I was thinking about it too. I'm just like, oh, what am I going to give for Christmas this year? I don't, I, I mean, I, I usually create like these elaborate events and lately, clearly I haven't because I've been taking care of me, focusing on me first. And it's funny. My mom sent me a message. I need to call her back, but I guess my aunt and my uncle um, we're turning 70 and 80, I think, and then my cousin is, she's like a sister, she's planning something for them, an event, a dinner, and I'm a little worried, because that's an event, and I, and I don't know how soon it is, but it reminded me of that dream that I had about my aunt. I, I am assuming it was my aunt that something happened and around when some of the dreams that I had. And so I was just like, oh snap. I was wondering what might happen. So anyway, so she sent me a text that I guess they wanted to know if I was going to be able to help initially and then she corrected herself after she's like I didn't mean I didn't mean for you to help I just meant to see if you would be able to come <laughs> cuz if I were closer to home that would have been that would have been what they would have said like, are you able to help but now I don't even know if I'm able to go I mean financially just because I I you know starting to get my bearings but I thought about Christmas gifts this year, and I was just like, what am I going to get the kids? And so this this was really nice, like a really nice, because I, I actually have, um, I have a lot of origami paper. And I think I'm going to gift two little ornaments just for family. And, um, just for family, you know, since I'm on a budget this year and just maybe write them a little wish on the inside of the crane, on the paper. I think that's what I'll do. And it's a cute idea. And a touch a little string. I have a bunch of string too. <laughs> so there you go. Gotta start working on those suckers. Um, but yeah, so hopefully my body isn't completely worn out from this long as walk, because I have no idea no idea how how much I want um, but it was lovely it was love I just I love that I can explore and so what helped I need to go buy more socks I, I purchased these walking socks um, when I was training for the marathon and they're thick and I hadn't worn them in a while so I decided to wear them today with my boots I felt like I was walking on clouds <laughs> until the end like once I was getting back I was like ooh my feet is starting to hurt a little um but I mean no um I didn't get any um no blister nothing so these socks are amazing I don't remember where I put I think I'm gonna put them at like Dick's Sporting Goods I need to look them up get a few more just to you know because I do a lot of walking but anyways, so I didn't get to see Candace. I was a little bummed out because I was really hoping to see her, but hopefully I'll be able to go back tomorrow, purchase my my little crane. This is her business card. Isn't that the cutest thing? Oh my gosh. You guys need to check her out. Yeah. I like supporting local artists, so. That'll be ornament number three. An unplanned ornament, but hopefully she's open tomorrow. Hopefully they're open tomorrow so I can go. So I can go. Um, that's it. I need to eat before I pass out. And, um, yeah. Alright, bye. Hi. 
my name is Yubi, and in case you haven't figured it out, this footage is capturing my experience as I learn to navigate my personal spiritual awakening. Um, I am learning that this experience is unique to each one of us, um, in whatever way we believe we are embracing living our truth, this just happens to be my journey. Um, and despite me having a graduate degree and a license in clinical social work, this by no means is intended to replace any type of mental health advice. This is just me on a personal level, uh, documenting my experience, shedding light on the truth that I am learning and discovering for myself, um, and really inviting you along for the ride. Um, if by some <laughs> magical chance you find this content to be helpful in any way, shape, or form, please click the like button, you know, share the message, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have an Instagram account, a personal one, and one specifically for this channel that you're more than welcome to check out. Um, I'm an open book. Um, I have also created t-shirt um, designs. I'm wearing my favorite one right now, which is the North Node. Um, uh, design, um, but I have that and other things uh, that you can look at um, inspired by this process and journey um, and I have the link in the description box as well as in the about section of my YouTube um, channel. So you're more than welcome to check those items out. Um, any type of support is you know, great. <laughs> um, again, if, if you find this content really helpful or meaningful, sometimes when we um, take that step and, and vulnerable you know with with showing what's inside our hearts and what's really our truth we realize that we're much more connected um, than, than what we thought we were and so um, I hope that um, as I'm living this experience it, and that you find some type of truth for yourself or, or find some type of um, ability to heal in some way just by relating you know just just by knowing that you're not alone that really has been my goal with this process, um, not just um, being able to connect with others, but really for my own healing. Um, it's definitely been a therapeutic experience and a very creative one for, for myself. So I thank you and um, I wish you all the best and you know, we'll see what else um, comes next for me. So.